Hey everyone, this is Jason. Welcome back to my class. So today we will learn how to use our customized tools to design a kitchen with our parametric models. So as you can see in here, you need to be aware of some key steps in custom cabinet design. First, you need to set the layout. Normally we start with the corner or chamfer cabinet. And after setting the layout, we will generate some fixtures for the cabinet, including the countertop, baseboard, sink and crumb molding etc and then we will make replacement for this cabinet with the styles and material and finally we will export the joints and quotation once the design is complete so you can use google chrome to search our website guhome.com and as you can see you can change the language into your language and after you sign up with your account go to start it and enter so you can just draw a space and go to the advanced tool so we can because we want to design with the kitchen so we can go to kitchen and bath so that's the page for the customized design for the kitchen so as you can see in this case, we have some tall cabinet and wall cabinets and also with some base cabinet. So today we are going to restore this case in our kitchen and bath design tool. So let's just get into our design tool. Uh, before our class, you need to know a very important concept about this model classification. So you can see we have this catalog. One is product catalog and another is parts. So if you choose one of these product catalog, like if I choose one of these cabinet, I can just drag and drop into this space freely, okay? But if you choose the parts model, like if I choose with a chef, and I want to drag and drop inside of this space, but you can see the part can only be placed inside of cabinet body, which means set inside of this cabinet, and I can open this cabinet and put one of these parts model so I can just set inside of these models. So that's the big difference between the parts model and product models. Okay, after you know about this, let's just start with our case. And before I put a cabinet, I need to find an end panel. So we can find an auxiliary, find tall end panel. So choose the left one. Sometimes you find this cabinet just snap very hard to the wall. So you can put it in here first. Then you can just change the distance between the wall, make it to zero. So it will snap to the wall. And then we need to find a tall cabinet. You can find tall cabinet. So with doors and also with the three doors and put in here. Okay, after we put this cabinet, we can just stretch to change the size, okay? So you can see we have different arrow, which means you can stretch from different direction. And also, and choose the second one. You can just move by stretch this different arrow. And also, you can just click this arrow to rotate it. So that's for the second control mode. And after finish about this setting of this cabinet, we can put another and panels, we can just click this one and we can just duplicate to put on the right side. Okay. And then I want to make some change for this cabinet size. So I can click this one. So you can see there is a parameter panel on our right side. So normally you can just change the width, depth, and height on by inputting the number on this box. So as, as you can see, there are also with some arrows which means when you click like if, if you click the bottom and you can change the height from another direction like you want to change into two three five oh and we just go upper and change the height okay same logic when you change the width like if you click to lock left side then we'll extend to right okay so you can when you move your mouth in the number box you can see there's a yellow 
arrow, which means it will change from this direction. Okay, so you can try. And after I set the height, I want to change for this end panel. So I can click this one, choose the scale mode, and by stretch it, so you will see, we'll snap with height. Okay, so that's for this cabinet. And also I want to stretch a little bit, make it on the floor. And also I will need to find dishwasher on the right side. Okay, before I put a dishwasher, I can find a chef on the ground. So I can find an auxiliary, try to find a chef. Okay, this one, I can just drop in here and find dishwasher going to the kitchen appliance. And we can search for a specific one by searching. Yeah, this one, and I just want to drop on the ship. But you see, sometimes it's very hard. But we can just drop it here first. And we have a feature called Orient. So you can click Orient, choose this panel. Then you can see we have some different arrow, which means if you choose this, it will, it will choose with the top surface. So click it, then we'll go to the top. And then we can click this panel to change for its weight. Okay. So, and also we can leave some gaps for this dishwasher by just move a little bit. And we can make it into 20. And also we can just change for this panel. Okay. If I set down with this dishwasher, we need to set with a cabinet with drawers so we can find the base unit with drawers. So I can find with the three drawers, this one, or maybe just this one. These are equal height for each drawers. I can put in here. And also click it. You can change for its width. The left side, I can change into 400. Okay, and also you can just change the depth, like I can change the back, make it into 550. And I can also duplicate this one, put in here, and change for its wave. Click this side and change into 560. And I want to make some design for this cabinet so I can switch the select mode, select part. So you can click to choose with these drawers. You can just delete it. And also you can just press tab key. So you see the select mode has been changed. Okay. And delete this one. And also I want to find the electric oven to put inside of this cabinet. So I can go into the kitchen appliance, find the electric oven. So I can just search. For this one and I put inside of this cabinet okay so that's for this cabinet and also we have a wall cabinet on our right side so we can copy the end panel first choose this one and we can just copy put in here and also we can put another cabinet to the wall okay So sometimes it's also hard to snap to the wall. You can just put in here first and change the distance between the wall. So go into the right position and we can find the wall cabinet, go into the wall cabinet, and extend menus to see the hole. Okay, find with a common one with doors. Put in here. And we have a feature called align, so we can align with the same height for this wall cabinet. So you can click, choose the first one, choose the second one, and going to align with top. So you see they were going to the same height. And also click this wall cabinet, we want to change for its height. Okay, want to ch change for its height, we can change into 350, okay. So that's for this wall cabinet. And also we can find the refrigerator to put inside of this space. Go into kitchen appliance, find the refrigerator. And this one.
So sometimes you see it's hard to put inside of this space. It's okay, you can just put it here. And also you can just use the orient feature. Choose the object and choose the surface. Then you will orient with this end panel, okay? And we can just adjust the size for this space and then we can just go into scale and change a little bit for a type and just move a little bit from the end panel like i can put 50 and go into the top 3d view so that's for this side and also we have some wall cabinet in the middle right so we can find wall cabinet and with the glass door right so we can go into the width doors, top, choose the hand door element. So we can with that glass wall cabinet. You can just put it. So we can just choose this one. So we can just choose this one. And put it in the middle and change the distance between the end panel. Okay. And I also want to change for its size. So lock this side and I want to change into and also I can change for its height okay so lock the top change into and also you can just duplicate after you change with the size so that's for this side of cabinet and also for this dishwasher I can just stretch a little bit And after finish this side, we can go see another side for this cabinet. Okay, we can start with the base unit. We can find a base cabinet, find with drawers. So we can need to find these three drawers. Put in here. So I can change a little bit, can change distance from the door opening. And I can change the width. So lock this side, I can change into 750, okay? And don't forget about the end panel. So we need to find the end panel in auxiliary and find the base end panel. We choose the left one, put in here. After we set down with this cabinet, we can just duplicate and duplicate again in here okay and copy this end panel to put on the right edge okay and after you finish about this we can see the wall cabinet we can go into the wall cabinet find this one with doors okay we can put in here first and we can change for its size okay so after we put in here we can align with the height from this side so we can Choose the first one, choose the second one, and align with the top. Okay, then we can change for its height. We can lock top, change into 350. And also we can change for its height. So we can lock the top, change into 350. If you want to make the same way for the base unit, so you can use this one. So you can use this feature called adaption. So you can adapt with the width, okay? And then you can align with the left. So go to the right position. And also after you finish about this, we can just change for its depth. Okay, and we can just duplicate this one. Also, we have a wall cabinet on the bottom, right? So we can just duplicate this one. So we can just put a side date and just use our orient feature and choose the surface. So you will align with the right panel, okay? And then we click it to change for its height. Okay, and also we need to duplicate for another side. Put in here first, and we can just make it align with this one. 
Okay, after finish about this part, we also have this end panel on the wall the cabinet, right? We can find end panel in auxiliary or end panel. Find the left one, put in here, and just stretch. And also for the right side, we can find this end panel. Just stretch it. And stretch it to snap. Okay, so that's for this cabinet. And also we have a island in the middle, right? We can go to top view. So you can see we can just drop a wall cabinet. We can just drop a base unit first. So we can have a quick look on this island. What is consist? So we have a three drawers cabinet and also with one drawer cabinet okay so we can start with the three drawer cabinet first base unit with drawers you can put in here and rotate i want to change the distance from this side okay and going to the perspective view So let's see the size. And change the height. Okay, and also we can find with the drawers, with, with, with one doors. Okay, I can snap a little bit. Okay, and also we have a drawer with two doors, right? We can find with the, we can extend the menu with doors. So we need to find this one. So the drawer is fake. So we can choose this one, put in here. And also we can find with a two door unit to put in here. So go to top view, you see we have some different width for this side. So we can lie it, okay? Choose this one, choose the second one. We can use adaption for its width. And we'll make them at the same width, okay? So that's for the layout. After we 